Hello, this is Tina, and I'm back again. Uh, I gotta do finish up some quests, so uh, I'm new to this game, so please bear with me. I am like my first time going through this, and uh, but I will try to make it as less painful as possible. I can pause it and resume, so with that being said, let me see where I need to go. Okay, up there and up there. Just trying to find it here. I gotta go back a little ways. There's a sheep. Okay, let's see where the next sheep is. I gotta find it in here somewhere. Uh, sheep, where are you? Oh, uh, right there. Okay, I see it. And where am I? I think I gotta... Let me see if this is a way. There's a sheep back here somewhere. Yep, I'm heading towards it. Sheep, where are you? Ah, there you are. I got another flower. Can I pick one of these? Guess not, here's your sheep. That's two of them so far. Let me see, I think I have to go back. Not to the watch hour, I don't think. Go back to the northern settlement. Can't go back there. Can't go there. I'm just talking to myself here. I'm gonna go back to the northern.
I don't need to be heading up this way. I gotta go back. I think it's back up this way. I think one's on the north side and the other ones might be on the south side. I mean the sheep. Okay, so this is the north, that's the south. And this is the north. So I have to go to the north side to get the other two sheep. Uh, how do I the hell I get there? Okay, go straight. I wonder if this is the south side. Do I get my horse or do I have to walk? Okay, I get my horse. Okay, let's see what's out here. See, I caught two sheep so far. Two, three, quite a story event. One, two. I'm just trying to see something here with the sheep. Quest event. story event. I want to go straight. Okay. I'm just trying to get my bearings on where I'm going. There's mist in the distance. Yeah, it's even higher here than the southern highlands.
It's going to keep going straight. There's one up ahead. I think I see one up here. I think that's a sheep. Let's see where to go. Uh... I think I want to be going that way. Let's turn around and go this way. I think there's a chest up here. I just seen it. Is that a monster? Yeah, it is. I got... Okay, that one's down there. I'm not sure how to get there though. Let me pause this and I'll be back. Okay, I think I see how to get there now. Because I got to go down here to the story event and get another sheep, which is four sheep. I must have I must have missed a sheep over on the other side. Because there's like only two here. And here, one, two. Okay, so... Got one there. And one there. Okay, I think I go around this thing. I like the music in here. It sounds like, uh, like you're in the, not the desert, but like in Texas or something. Straight. What is that thing? Is that a rock? I guess so. Oh, we made it all the way to where that giant statue is. It looks even more massive the closer we get. To get right in front of it, we'll need to go around the cliff. I think I see it on the map over here. There's a sheep and a monster. Oh, I gotta get the monsters? Okay, cool. If it's a fight they want, it's my turn. Go! 
can do this. Turn to flames! Burn! Okay. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! Too slow! Excuse me. Too slow! We're going down the bottom. Let's keep moving. That should suffice. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, let's check the map again. Where are we? I'm trying to get over into the darker blue section. I'm not sure how to get over there. I thought I saw one more sheep over here. He has like way back there. Oh, I hate trying to read maps. I'm not good at reading maps or directions, but this will help me though to learn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this on pause till I can figure this out. Let's see if I can get to this. Why is this up here? Am I gonna have to go around? Let's see where I am. I gotta keep heading straight. You know, it always confuses me, like southwest, northwest, some kind of things too. That confuses me too. It's fun though. I just hope I'm not boring people as I'm trying to find things. Got a sheep up here somewhere. It's up to here. Is it up above here, I'm wondering? I'll go back down. It's around here somewhere. Ah, uh, there's a monster by it, too. Let's see, we can take that, I think. Ah, uh, a sheep. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Okay, I want to see about cooking in here. Where was cooking at? It was somewhere in here. Tomato sandwich, can't make. Can't make simple omelet. Hmm. Anyway. I don't know which way I'm going out. I'm trying to find it. North Highlands. There was a quest event back here, I thought so anyway.
No, it's not out here, but treasure chest. Okay, I'm just looking, see if there's anything up here. Let's go back this way. Yep, story event. That's what I was looking for. Where is it on the map? Oh, it's back there? Okay, how do I get there? Let me see something. I'll be back once I figure this out. Oops, I didn't want to go there. Some mist coming off the clouds over there. I mean the mountains, I'm sorry, the mountains. I have to keep checking it because I keep getting lost. Okay, go straight a little ways. Go up here and see if this is a way. I'm almost at the story event. I don't want to go that way. I had to go back again. I'm almost up on it.
Are you having a heart attack, man? You should go see the doctor, Rain. What should I pick? Wait here for Norton to finish? Okay. I did all my other quests. I think I did anyway. I don't think there's anything in here. I was just taking a quick look. 
Okay, let's go out this way. I think it's back this way. I have not been here before. See if there's a story quest. Yeah, a story event. Where is it? Uh, unless it's like out of here somewhere. Oh, I see it. It's all the way up there? Jeez, how do I... Uh, they go straight for a little while. What fun we're going to have today with me finding this. Why did they have to make maps so complicated in video games? I don't know if it's just me or if they're really that complicated. This way. Go down there. Okay, it's over there. I think that's a big monster, but it's a rock. Where do I go? Uh, straight, I think. I'm not sure which way to go yet. I'm going to just try it and see if this is the way. I did see it up there. Now I don't... Oh, okay. It's back here. Well, that's where it is? Um, wait a minute. I'm there. So... Let me see something here. I'm just looking at the map here. Where am I? I'll be back. I think it, I think it's up this way somewhere. getting there. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, cool. Can I go for a swim? I don't see anybody I'm supposed to talk to. Story event, where? Maybe it's inside a building or something? Lake cabin? Well, is it the only place I can go from here? How beautiful. 
Yeah, breathtaking. Can't get back there. This mount horse. Let's get going. Is there anything up here? Let's see, can I fish out here? I just want to see if I can... I can't get over that. forget to fish there oh well oh that's awesome look at that sunset this game has good great visuals
those military academy students. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like things are gonna start getting interesting. Okay, let's get this mission started! Sheesh. Gramps and the others can be so unreasonable sometimes. Such an idiot. What am I even doing? Oh, Alisa. Oh, Green. Well, what are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? My mouth says no, but my stomach's thinking yes. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be f Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. See? What did I tell you? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Riding a horse really takes it out of you. I guess you're right. Why didn't that occur to me before? Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. Huh? Oh, wow! You know, I didn't even notice it last night because we turned in so early. But now that we know, if you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? You're right. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. My family was never really the same after that. Mother was director of the company back then. She focused all of her energy on making the Reinford Group even bigger. 
She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oh, she did seem like a talented businesswoman when we met her. Well, more than talented to run the Rhinefruit Group. What you saw in River Station was just a watered-down version of her normal intensity. We'd be able to have dinner together maybe once every three months, and that's being generous. But at least I wasn't alone. Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. That's how it was, huh? I guess you've known Sharon for a long time then. Yeah, my mother hired her about seven years ago. Being a Reinford and all, I never had many people I could really call friends when I was young. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. At least with my grandfather and Sharon around, I never felt totally alone. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery, and all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Meanwhile, my mother kept expanding the company completely against the wishes of my grandfather, the chairman. I see. Though, hasn't Reinford always been a big industrial company? Kind of, yeah. Even back then, they took on projects in all fields, from steel mills to railway construction to guns and tanks. It's not surprising there are people out there who like to call the company a merchant of death. I can't say I completely agree with that side of the company, but I've never felt embarrassed or ashamed about it. But a few years ago, the Reinford Group finally went too far. What do you mean? Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire? You know about those, right? Yeah, I've heard of them. They're supposed to have the longest range of any orbital cannon in the world. I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. Erebonia's still fighting with Calvert over Crossbell, and those guns are capable of targeting any point in Crossbell State. In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. No way. That's way beyond being a weapon of war. More like an instrument of massacre. I couldn't agree more. And neither could my grandfather, who supervised their construction. Even though my mother was the one who signed off on the project, my grandfather regretted it like the decision was his. As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. What? She went behind his back and secured the support of all of Reinford's major shareholders. Everyone from Ruwer's ruling Lord Marquis Rogner to the top brass of the Imperial Army was on her side. In the face of such overwhelming pressure from all sides, my grandfather was forced to capitulate. He stepped down as chairman and my mother wasted no time taking his place. <sighs> That's when my grandfather decided to leave the company entirely. And me. I thought I'd at least have Sharon on my side, but she just did whatever my mother told her to do. It's been five years since then already. Oh. I think I get it now. Why she gets under your skin, I mean. It's not so much what your mother did, but how it ended up tearing your family apart. Yeah, I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe Sharon, who'd always supported me, watched it all happen without a word of protest. It really drove it home to me. How big the Reinford group was now, and how small I was. I hated realizing it had become so large that corporate interests were stronger than family ties. Looking back, I guess that's when I decided I'd leave home and enroll in the academy. <laughs> Even when I ran, I couldn't go far enough to escape my mother's shadow or the Reinford name. Then I come here and find my grandfather happily enjoying a whole new life without a care in the world. When I stepped outside, I was feeling so lost, so frustrated, wondering what I'd been doing all this time. But it's kind of strange, you know? I look up at the stars and it feels like I can escape the gravity of everything. I think I'm finally starting to understand.
why my grandfather chose to leave it all behind and move out here in the first place. <laughs> you really are strong, Elisa. Stronger than you realize. You were finally ready to talk about it. About your family and the company and everything. So, maybe you've found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> maybe you're right. But I don't think I would have been able to if I hadn't enrolled at the Academy. Meeting everyone in Class 7, the Lacrosse Club, you... I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. So, thanks. Thanks for worrying about me. And... <laughs> Anytime. Though, truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. Sorry to ruin the moment. <laughs> I thought that might be the case. Oh well, there's always next time. It's kind of strange to hear you tell me I'm strong, because I could say the same thing about you. You always seem to get thrust into the role of leader, someone we can count on to keep us on track. <laughs> I guess running errands on all my free days is really helping me buckle down. Still, I feel like I've got a long way to go, especially when I keep running from myself. Huh? Remember back in Keldic? I said that I came to the Academy to find myself. But sometimes, I wonder if maybe I just wanted to get away from my family, from myself. Oh. Do you not get along well with your family? Oh, I do. I'm not their real son, but my parents always loved me like I was. My sister and I, we've had our differences, especially lately, but we still get along pretty well. No, the problem's just with me. Reen. <laughs> still, I suppose the fact you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd have the chance to feed you your own good advice so soon? I can't believe you can just say things like that with a straight face. Maybe being on the receiving end every now and then will do you some good. <laughs> Alright, you got me. I admit defeat. But yeah, I guess I'm starting to figure things out. In my own way. Maybe enrolling at Thoris was the first thing I'd done right in a long time. I ended up in Class 7. And now, all of us are out here like this, spending time together. Yeah, I like that. I hope the things we learn during our field studies can help us all make a difference in the world. So... Wait, all of us? <coughs> <laughs> you two were gone so long that we started to get a little worried. No way! How long have you been listening? Still, I suppose the fact that you were finally ready to talk about it means that maybe you found what you were looking for to move past that, right? S stop Green! He was the one who said it first! I was just re repeating it back to him! Oh, Lisa, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Honestly, you touched my heart. I apologize for eavesdropping on you, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad I did. How did I end up in the middle of this anyway? Fine, if that's how you want to play it, none of you are getting any sleep until you've shared all your most embarrassing secrets. What? I, I, I don't... <laughs> you wish. Seems like you did well. Honestly, I feel like she helped me more than I helped her. Hey, guys? Hmm? This is a really beautiful place. Yeah, ain't it? Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Keep up the good work!
That's one of the Imperial Army's airships. This situation is looking worse by the minute. We need to hurry. I like the music. I know I said that before, but the music's like some kind of Indian music or something. Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. I wonder what monster Damn, meant. This isn't looking good. <clears throat> what monster am I gonna have to defeat? See what time it is. Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the Lieutenant General's recommendation and entered the Academy, too. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. I love everything about this land of Nord. 
It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, the Republican Army built a base in the Eastern Plains, and the Imperial Army responded in kind with their watchtower. It's... Years ago, a traveling priest from the Septian Church taught me all about the history of the continent. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives had been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. It made me realize a sad truth, one that kind of scares me even now. That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. That one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. So then, you joined the Academy in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass, heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. Thinking back on how it all came together, what you said is probably what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I've yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. <laughs> I have to agree. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they'd leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Elisa? Um, just an idle thought. But having heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Indeed, I couldn't have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks, all of you. Really. Thank you.
Oh, there it is. Okay. 